guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be trying out these Camille Rose products on my wash and go. As you can see these are the results already. So if you want to see how I got these results just keep watching. I just shampooed my hair with the Pantene Gold Series shampoo and conditioner. My hair is dripping wet as you can see and I do have my water bottle hair just in case I need to wet my hair even more. So I'm just going to put my hair into four sections. And I'm wrapping them up into these little buns so that the moisture can stay inside the hair. So I'm just going to start in this back section here. And my hair should be pretty detangled already because I detangled it when I had the conditioner in. Right, so this is the deep conditioner I'm going to use. It's the Camille Rose Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask with Cocoa and Mango Butter. It's a vitamin packed moisturising and strengthening treatment infused with blue, green, algae, algae, however you say it. <laughs> Ooh, nice and thick. Hmm. It smells a lot like the curl milk and the curl aid. Like it's got that vanilla kind of smell, but this has a little bit of a minty hint to it. It smells like mint chocolate ice cream, yeah. It looks like it as well. It's like green pistachio ice cream. So I'm just gonna soak my hair again, make sure it's dripping wet, and then I'm gonna apply the deep conditioner in and then detangle and twist it. Okay, just make sure my hair's really really wet because my hair just soaks up all the water really quickly so. and yeah i'm just gonna apply deep conditioner now start off with that much it feels really buttery and i'm applying more of the product to my ends as well because that's the part that's gonna need the extra love so yeah just use about that much and then what i'd like to do is go ahead and wet my hair a little bit more and then I'll go ahead and detangle my hair. I'm loving it so far. It provides a lot of slip for the brush to just glide through my hair. It's just making my hair feel so smooth already. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna apply it a little bit more after I detangle it. Don't need to overuse your product, just enough to cover each of the strands and a little bit more to the ends. So as you can see the product is in my hair so you don't need to use a lot of it. And then I just go ahead and twist it back up. One section done. So yeah I'm just going to repeat that for each section of my hair. You want to make sure you get into the section as well. So just part it off and smooth the product in the middle. I just like to apply a little bit more to the perimeter of my hair and at the middle there because that's a weak spot for my hair so yeah and then I just click my fingers because that's how we do you know <laughs> and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hair up it's using the crocodile clip or whatever you call them claw things <laughs> just like that and then I'm going to put my deep conditioning mask mask deep conditioning hat over my head like that and I'm gonna apply heat to it just for about 15 minutes I will do longer but I don't have time again I always don't have time to um, do this heat part always I'm gonna be using my soft hood and my hair dryer okay <sighs> right so that was 15 minutes and I'm gonna leave it on for about 15 minutes more while I put on the baby's dinner. Yeah, so I'll be back guys. Right, so it's been about 45 minutes since I lost all you guys. Yeah, so I'm just gonna take down my hair, show you what it's looking like, and then I'm gonna go rinse it out. Listen, that feels super soft. And my hair is just soaking up all of the nourishment. I can tell already my hair feels so good right now, guys. <laughs> I like it. My favorite ice cream is actually mint chocolate, so I actually like the smell of this. <laughs> For some, it might actually be a bit off putting, but um, I like the fact that it's not too sweet smelling. Yeah, so this is what my hair is looking like, and I'm just gonna wash it out like this in the shower. And I'm gonna try and not mess up my makeup. I don't know why I decided to my makeup i think so i was just waiting for the food to cook and i was just like let me get something out of the way because i've got so much to do today 
so I'm just going to be very careful in the shower, wash this out, and then I'll be back. <laughs> I honestly don't know how I did it, but makeup didn't come off in the shower. And look how dewy my skin looks. <laughs> Actually recommend that. <laughs> Go in the shower after you do your makeup. Get instant glow. <laughs> Yeah, so I just washed it out as normal and then I ran my hair through the water while I was brushing it and then I just twisted it into four sections. So my hair is, it's not too wet and this is exactly how I like my hair to be when I'm working with the products. Just because I don't want it to be soaking wet because I feel like the products evaporate too much, if that makes any sense. I do have my water bottle here just in case I need to add some more water to my hair. So I'm just gonna put these sections up into little buns just to get them out of the way like so and I'm gonna work in the back section first Um, if you see a little mole in my head <laughs> I have a really big mole in my head so don't worry it's not cancerous so yeah I'm just gonna take my hair out and honestly guys that deep conditioner is amazing like look at my hair it is so moisturized no product absolutely no product so I'm going to be using these two products today. I'm going to start off with the moisture milk. I'm going to use my oil mixture as well and then finish off with the gel. So I'm doing the lock method like I always do. And you don't have to use an oil but I feel like I get more benefits with my hair using the oil. All right, so let's get started. It seems really thick. I don't think I'm going to get it out of this bottle easily. We'll see. Oh. I was wrong. So I'm going to start off with that amount and see how it works in my hair. Oh, it feels very buttery, a bit like with the deep conditioner. Not too thick as I thought it was going to be. Oh yeah. That feels really nice on the hair. Wow. Okay. So far so good. Add a little bit more. That much again. I'm going to get into the section. And then I'm going to apply a little bit more to my ends. That much. Oh, I do like this product. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, so as you can see, my hair is a little bit dry. So I'm just going to use some of the water to get the moisture balance that I want. And just raking and smoothing at the same time just to try and bring that definition into my hair and so far it's looking like it might be worth the money off oh, wow. <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna let you guys know how i get on throughout the week with the products as well so i do like my wash and goes to last me the full week so if it's not doing that then what's the point now so now i'm gonna take my oil mixture and apply some to my hair mm. A fair amount. For about two years I've been using this oil mixture and it's nothing too fancy. Yeah, it's just oils that I know work well with strands. See I do have problem areas, it's not all fine and dandy. I do have parts of my hair where, you know, need help. <laughs> Once upon a time it was my nape, now it's the crown. But with the shortness of my hair that's making me believe that's new growth which could be part of the postpartum fall so yeah so yeah, i forgot to say what this product is this in fact is the camille rose curl love moisture milk with rice milk and macadamia oil it's a soft and leave-in conditioning cream with light notes of macadamia nut and vanilla and it does actually smell like vanilla it smells very very nice actually <laughs> not sweet nice so now that i've applied those two products i'm going to go in with the gel hopefully to bring some definition back to these curls because right now it's not looking very defined so i'm just gonna pump this out i don't like pumps for gel i do it for the gram and so it's got a very clean scent oops I can't actually put my finger on what it smells like but the only thing I can actually compare it to is like an aloe vera-ish kind of smell oh my god it's actually defining my curls already like what I'm gonna use some more apply it to my ends this gel is actually working really well look at my hair it's basically defined already and I've just started my goodness <laughs> 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna part this section off now, put this part up so I can get deeper into the section and define the roots. Part it off again to get deeper into the roots as well. I like to rake a little bit as well at the roots. Now I'm interlocking my fingers like this. And smoothing, raking. So I'm raking like that, raking and grabbing. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. and smooth it in. It's working so well guys, honestly. I'm really happy with it. And that's one section done. Beautiful. It feels like it will be a medium hold gel. It doesn't feel thick at all. It's quite slippery, like aloe vera-ish. Yeah, like it's giving me that aloe vera feel. Golden agave nectar. Mm, I don't know. And it was a breeze as well. This didn't take long at all. So this is drying up. A lot now so I'm gonna hose it down with some water I can see this is gonna be annoying when it starts to run out <laughs> and I can still smell the deep conditioner in my hair but it's not a strong smell at all but if you don't like mint chocolate ice cream then <laughs> but I love it myself so. so now I'm gonna go with my oil focus it more towards the middle of my head because the front doesn't need much at all. As you can see, it's actually quite easy to define the front of my hair as well. So yeah, so I'm just gonna go in with the gel now. Start off with that mount. Pull it on the whole section, like the whole perimeter of the section. Smooth that through. Rake in at the roots. Rake in. Interlock the fingers. And smoothing. Always finishing off with smoothing. And I must say, this gel is giving my hair a lot of slip. It's like with the Eco Styler gel, for instance. When I'm doing my hair like this and I'm raking, it's like the product is too thick and I'm not pulling my hair out, but it seems like I am pulling my hair out from how rigid it's making my hair. This stuff is amazing. Oh, wow. I'm just gonna add a little bit more gel in the whole section just to see if I can get the, my curls to define even more. i just bring them together like this. And smooth. And smooth. So I'm just gonna do the rest of this off camera. So yeah, I'm just gonna clip my fingers again. Just like that. <laughs> and this is what my hair's looking like so far, guys. Oh. It looks so good already and I can't wait for it to fully dry. As for drying, I don't really want to diffuse it because the diffusing will make it a bit frizzy. So, mm. Yeah, so these are my results, guys. Using the Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk and the Curl Maker. It's not an eco style kind of hold or definition. Like I do get a lot more definition with the eco styler because it's so heavy, but I'm not mad about this at all. Like I do feel like my hair is very nourished. I feel like it's very clean. I could probably get a better result if I used a lot more gel. I would recommend each and every one, every one of them. So yeah best dig deep in your pockets <laughs> but i did buy these off look fantastic and i did get a good deal i got 20 percent off and i think for every new customer there's 20 percent off as well but i'm not a new customer and i still got a 20 percent so but yeah overall very very happy with the purchase and i'm really looking forward to using that curl aid so if you do want to see me try out the curl aid on my twist out or my braid out subscribe to my channel but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one Bye. So I didn't get to take any photos once it was fully dry. I went out shortly after this video. And I must say, my hair felt very dry compared to the products that I usually use. Which was quite surprising because I really, really loved the way the product applied to my hair. And the way it felt in my hair. I probably can put it down to the fact that it's not a stronghold gel. As I said, I don't really like lightweight gels in my hair. 
they don't really do much for me but the wash and go probably only lasted a good two or three days and my hair was getting frizzy and i also went ahead and tried the curlaid instead of the moisture milk just because it's the thicker consistency and this i still had the same issue like i'm wearing it right now and my hair is frizzy <laughs> I like my wash and goes to last a solid five days and then get a little bit frizzy towards the end of the week. So for me, I wouldn't do a wash and go with these products again. But yeah, that's the full review guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!